Hello and welcome to another tutorial. This one may be something really, really simple. People might think it's silly for me to do, to do a tutorial on this, but there's a lot of people who are starting out in video editing or a lot of people who've come from different software where this is completely different. So what this, what I'm basically gonna show you in this tutorial is how to uh, fade in and fade out both audio and video. So you can you know fade in the video or you can gradually make the, your volume louder or softer and also how to crossfade two clips together, two video clips together. So basically in other software, sometimes you can just drag the corner of your clip and it will set a fade automatically. Premiere is quite a bit different, it's a little bit more advanced, but it's good that way because it allows you to do a lot more stuff. So let's get started. Let me just drag in a clip. This is from vlog from today. What you'll see here is we've got a video track on top and an audio track on the bottom. You can see it's represented by V1, and A1, so video track one and audio track one. When you click on that, if you go up to here and you go to your effect controls, click on that, you'll see all these options right here. So opacity is basically how much of your video you can see. If you, if I knock this down, you'll see it gets darker. Go up and it's brighter. So let's just delete that for a second. And the volume is down here. So let's, what we'll do just to practice, we'll fade the video and audio in of this clip right here. So, what you wanna do, you wanna make sure the stopwatch here is lit up blue. And what this means, basically, in Premiere, what you do is you set keyframe. So, it's the easiest way to explain it is you might say at the start of the clip, we want 0% opacity. So we want the screen to be black. And then this far into the clip, we want it to be 50%. And that far into the clip, we want it to be 100%. Basically, that's how you do it. It's done by keyframes. This stopwatch that's lit up here basically means it's ready ready for you to add keyframes. So if we turn the stopwatch off here, you can see we can make it as dark or as light as we want, but that's gonna set the clip at that opacity the whole way. But what we wanna do is fade it in. So let's just put everything back to the way it was, turn on the stopwatch. But what we'll do, we'll set this at 0% because we're gonna fade in. What I often like to do, and I'll actually do that now, instead of setting setting this to zero and then the screen's gonna be black so we're not gonna know where to fade it in so what I like to do let's just bring this back up to 100 I like to find a point where the opacity will be full so you'll see everything so I'll go to that point let's turn the stopwatch on like it was before and you'll see we've made a keyframe and nothing's gonna change because that keyframe is at 100% and the rest of the clips at 100% now you can see around this area here it's the, basically just shows you your clip so if we go to the start of the clip and make this 0%, you'll see there's now another keyframe here. So I just zoomed in. What you're gonna see is this key, this keyframe here is at zero and that's at 100. So you'll see the fade. There you go. And you can move these around. So if you want it to fade it open a lot quicker, it will, but even quicker. Or you can have a really slow fade. And that's basically it for the opacity. So let's just, Let's just fade it open, fade it on pretty quick. Now let's do the audio. Now obviously what I usually like to do is fade the audio in the same that I do the opacity for the video, if that makes sense. It just, you don't have to. Sometimes it depends on what you're actually doing, but it does sound nicer sometimes. Look and sound nicer. So zero decibels, for those who don't know, zero decibels is normal volume. It's not zero, it's not completely quiet, it's not silent. Zero is actually normal volume. In Premiere, minus 287.5 decibels is actually zero. So what we wanna do here, let's start with our end point. So at this point, when the video completely fades in, I want my audio to be also completely faded in. So let's set a keyframe by clicking here. You can see that, add or remove keyframe. If you ever need to delete one, you can click on it while it's, while it's lined up or you can just click on it and press delete on your keyboard and it's gone but let's just set a keyframe there at zero decibels which means normal volume let's drag it back to the start and we'll go minus 287.5 so now what's going to happen is it's going to start off completely quiet and completely dark and gradually blend in till the opacity is at 100 percent and the level volume is 100 percent now if i scroll this little playhead over you're going to see these numbers here go up as the uh as the keyframes start to join. See that? So let's play that back normally and you'll see what we've just done. Hey, what's up guys and welcome to another 
vlog. I'm just letting it be. There you go. So it's a really nice and easy way to fade in a clip. Fade out is exactly the same thing, except we're going to do it on the end of the clip. So let's just go here and we'll move over. Whoops. So there we are here now. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go from zero decibels, which is normal volume, and we're going to go from 100% opacity. So we're going to set our keyframes here. We're going to move our playhead to the end. We're going to set our opacity to zero, and we're going to set this again, minus 287.5. What's going to happen from this point onwards, it's the audio is going to fade out and the video is going to fade to black as well. So let's, let's have a look at what that looks like. Don't worry, I do need like amazing quality that I'll probably just say. Okay, that's didn't realize that clip was that long. Let's make it really short. Yeah. And I'm um, gonna get home now and I might take photos of it and get it ready to run the sale. So. so that's a very slow fade. Let's get it even faster. We'll make a very fast fade. You can select them all just like this, drag it over. So this should be quite a fast fade. Should be fun. That's it. Simple as that. So now what we're going to do is actually do a crossfade from one clip to another. We'll delete our end keyframes here. Hope that all made sense. And that's basically how Premiere works for almost everything. So keyframe is very keyframing is very important. So let's just say we wanted to even just quickly. I think I've shown this before. Let's just say we wanted to zoom into this video. That's what we're going to use scale for and position. So let's set two keyframes or one keyframe for position, one keyframe for scale. We'll move over a bit. Let's just say at this point of the video, we want to zoom into my face really close. So we're going to set scale up. And then we're going to grab our motion up here and we can move the clip wherever we want. So just make sure you don't show the black like that. So now what's going to happen is in between these two keyframes, the camera, well not a camera, but the window that you see here is going to zoom into my face. So I posted a video yesterday called DJ. So there you go. It's a nice way to do some artificial zooming, but we'll get rid of that for now. I wasn't meant to show you that. It was just a little thing just showing you how important keyframes are in Premiere. Okay, so right now we're going to crossfade two clips together. Let's grab our second clip right here. Now, what you'll see in Premiere, if you put two clips side by side and don't trim any of them, and then we go to our uh, video transitions. Now there's heaps of these, so you can do whatever transition you like, but for the sake of this, we're going to do a cross dissolve which is pretty much a crossfade. Uh, when I first got Premiere, I was looking for crossfade everywhere because that's what it was called with all the other software I used, but it's actually called Cross Dissolve in Premiere. So all you need to do is drag this uh, transition in between our clips, but what you're gonna see here is it's not gonna let us do that. Now, the reason it won't let us do that, and it's kind of hard to explain, is because when two clips join together, um, when you're trying to crossfade, if you try and just put the transition right in the middle of the two clips, there's no there's no actual video in between those two clips, obviously. So there's not enough frames for the transition to work. I hope that makes sense. But what you need to do is actually trim back your first clip and trim your second clip. And now when we push them together, what you're going to notice is we'll be able to do a cross dissolve. It's just in there. You'll see it right there. And you can make that longer. So, so to make that longer, sorry, I'll show that again. You can drag that. Or you can click on it and go to effect controls and you can set the duration and all the settings here for the cross dissolve. Now you'll see the video will dissolve into the next one. Yeah, that's where I'm standing with it and uh, absolutely awesome. So, this is a bit of a problem when you film something and the dialogue or the person is talking all the way to the end of that clip. This is why I stress that it's really important when you do, when you do film things to film and when the dialogue stops or when you've stopped talking just to let the film keep filming for a little bit and then stop the camera because you might need some room to overlap um, otherwise this happens so you'll see what we've had to do is actually trim the clips so yeah because if we do try to add a little cross dissolve see it tells you there insufficient media the transition will contain repeated frames so you can do that and you'll see it like it's got a little lines across it but it will not look very good because it's just going to it's going to basically grab frames and repeat them to make up for the frames that aren't there so see, you can tell that didn't look very good it was very so see that little it kind of stops a bit before so, so that's why you really need to chop some of your video off unfortunately oops so lucky for me 
I can cut one right there because I don't I stop talking and then it runs out and right there so I can crossfade that big amount that's not too bad this is what I mean by making sure when you're recording you always over record so once you've stopped talking just keep recording for a little bit there you go so now I can do a nice big cross dissolve because I had some trailing a trailing video at the end of my my dialogue or whatever I was saying monologue if you will so let's watch this so, also in addition so there you go the longer you want it you can keep going but there you go it's at its max because that's all the frames that are left most other software will let you put a transition wherever you want before this I was using Sony Vegas you could put a cross dissolve or a crossfade wherever you wanted and you didn't have to trim your clips the back of your clips or the front of your clips off but sometimes those fades looked weird and this is exactly why Premiere protects you from doing things that are going to look a bit weird or not work properly so now that we've faded that let's do a little fade with the audio as well so all you need to do is go to our audio transitions crossfade there's a few here to choose from. I usually use constant power and we just drag that across. What's going to happen now is it's going to fade the audio from the one clip into the next clip. So, also in addition so you can't tell much there because they're, they're both silent for the start and the end, but so also there you go. Um, I think that's about all I had planned for this tutorial. So I've showed you how to fade in video using the opacity and keyframes and I've showed you how to increase the volume using uh, the level here as well using keyframes so that's fading in fading out and we also did some transitions like i said keyframes are very important in adobe premiere once you know how to use them you'll be set and i think that's all for this tutorial i hope that helped thanks heaps for watching please subscribe please share please like and comment if you have any questions at all let me know in the comments below and i'll see you soon thanks for watching